the South Beach flu. A lot of people I, have. I don't. I'm not sure for the Warriors. Are these? I'm not sure. But uh, no, you deserve that. I thought. I meant to. All right. Let's get let's get right to it. Uh, let's go out and talk to Keith McPherson, nighttime host at Odyssey's WFAN in New York. He's also a live host on Bleacher Report. Keith, thank you so much for joining us. I uh, really appreciate it, man. Hey, what's up, guys? Good afternoon. Uh, a little later in the afternoon here in New York, but thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, obviously, Shohei Otani had a press conference yesterday. He said, I've never bet on baseball, never bet on sports. Uh, I, had a, I had an interpreter that... Uh, that I was duped by and and never saw any of this coming, never knew about it. What happens now, and what did you think about what happened yesterday? I'm having a hard time with this one, fellas. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm writing notes, and I'm putting my thoughts together, and the math ain't mathing. Like, something here is missing. There's still so many questions. The story changed multiple times, and I knew going into – the conversation yesterday that we weren't going to get much from that. But the main thing for me is that he said money was stolen from his account and that his interpreter was lying. Okay. Well, Tuesday we saw you interacting with him in the dugout during the soul series. You didn't, you didn't seem to be mad at the guy. Then he, you know, he said, uh, he just found out like he hadn't known until the next day. All right. I just, just to think a guy does not know about that much money being moved under his name, his account by anyone. Uh, the amount of money he has in sponsorship deals, the amount of money he's worth on and off the field. Your financial advisors didn't flag this. Like my account gets flagged for wire transfers for little things that I do. I'll get hit with a $15 charge for a wire. Tra- like nobody saw this. I'm just, I'm having a hard time putting it together. I have a show tonight in New York and I've been off for a week cause I've been at spring training and I'm just trying to figure out how to talk about it. This is actually my first time talking about it because I don't buy it. You know what, Keith? I, I appreciate that energy. And, you know, here I am on the West Coast hoping he's innocent because I believe baseball needs him. But it, he's a draw. But at the end of the day, if he did bet on baseball and we got Pete Rose and, you know, a lifetime ban, then you deserve the consequences. Let me ask you this. And I'm no lawyer, shocker. And I know you don't have a crystal ball, but this just has the ingredients like we're not going to know anything for a long, long time if you mm-hmm. kind of catch my drift to like, oh, Tiny oh, yeah. not being off the field this year might be off the table, or do you think I'm looking at that wrong? No, no, no. I mean, he's going to play. He's going to play this whole year, and I think he's playing into next year. They're going to kick this thing down the okay. road. Like, the way I look at it and what I've already written in my notes, they announced that the Cubs will face the Dodgers in Japan next year coming off the Soul Series. You know he's going to be there for that. He's the main draw. And his boy Yamamoto, who, uh, you know, Rocky start first for him last week. Also, Manfred is going to protect his best interest. This is a unicorn in Major League Baseball. They are going to protect mm. him. They are going to do everything in their power to say, hey, he's not at fault. He didn't know. And what I do think, similar to what you said, is he's good for baseball. We've never seen a guy like this in baseball. And I think we need him. I think the sport gets hurt if he falls into the ranks of a Pete Rose or you know, anybody else in the game of shadows throughout the years that has been prosecuted and whatnot. But I, I just know this between the Astros cheating scandal to Pete Rose to Shoeless Joe, like any of these guys like Shohei, they do not want him to fall into mm. that basket. But in, in the court of public opinion, he already has. Keith McPherson joining us on 95.7 The Game. He's a nighttime host at Odyssey's WFAN in New York. He's also a live host on Bleacher Report. Uh, let's switch over to the Giants. Um, they obviously had a big offseason. What what should their expectations be? If if you're a Giants fan, what's your expectation for this team this year? Hashtag beat LA. You basically stacked up because you're not going to lay down to the Dodgers. Uh, a couple years ago, you were a 100 win team. Like I, I just think that uh, the Giants, especially looking over from New York, they've had money to spend, right? They wanted Judge. They wanted Carlos Correa. Even further back, they wanted John Carlos Stan. They've had money to blow on guys, but then rumors had it that people don't want to go there. We hear about J.D. Martinez coming over to the Mets and turning down an offer from the Giants. Well, hey, a lot of guys did decide that they wanted to play for the Giants, from Jordan Hicks to Chapman to 
Soler, uh, right out of out of the gate, like they they started making moves and they've made moves all the way to the end with Blake Snell. So I think this is just them loading up to say we're not laying down to Otani and Yamamoto and Betts and Freeman and the rest of the Dodgers. Let's go at it and let's go at it with the rest of baseball too. We want to get back to bring in our fan base and our our ballpark to October, which we've seen so many times. Keith, let me ask you this. I'm just thinking back to last year's World Series and. You know, when we were at this juncture, pre-opening day, a few days off, nobody had the Diamondbacks making it. And I think that's the beautiful part about baseball. And when you look at this giant rotation and what Farhan has done with the lineups, adding some bats, would you at all be shocked if the Giants, I know you said beat L.A., but if the Giants were a factor, because I'm telling my partner here, it's got to be the play, like, it would be disappointing if this team didn't make a wild card. No, they should. With the money spent, with the fan base, with everything like you just said about what the Arizona Diamondbacks were able to do. I love the parody in baseball. That's why nobody can predict the World wow. Series. What it is is you build towards the World Series. It's about who's the healthiest and stays the hottest through the course of October, who makes the right moves at the deadline, who builds the chemistry of their team, their rotation, their lineup, their defense, all the way to the fall classic. I, I wouldn't count the Giants out. And if you want to use in division the Arizona Diamondbacks as an example of nobody knew what they could do, yeah, you should live off live off that and even dream bigger. Maybe you can win the division. Yeah. Maybe you can beat the Dodgers. Keith McPherson joining us on 95.7 The Game, nighttime host, Odyssey's WFAN in New York, also live host on Bleacher Report. If you're a Giants fan and you've got Matt Chapman at third base with a player option next year and Blake Snell on the mound with a player option next year, what's the best case scenario to be a Giants fan if you like both those guys? <laughs> All in, win it this year, right? There's there's a similar thing going on in my neck of the woods with the Yankees having Juan Soto on a one-year deal, Verdugo, Glaber Torres, Anthony Rizzo, Clay Holmes. You know, these guys are going to most likely be moving on next year, so it's literally all in, but the fan base is kind of upset saying, you didn't go all the way in. We needed a little bit more help like a Blake Snell. So I think the best case for, for the Giants and the Giants fans is get back to the postseason, win this year, maybe win it all. It's another even year. Like I just think that you, you lock in on this year and you don't look too far down the road to next year because nobody knows where anybody's going or what's going to happen in the offseason. Like Scott Boris thought he was going to absolutely crush it this offseason. Things went a little different. And, uh, you know, that's what's great about the sport of baseball. Like I said, the parody in it. And nobody knows where anyone's going to go. These Mets fans over here were telling us that they were landing Yamamoto and Otani the last year. They didn't even get close, really. Yamamoto a little bit, but not Otani. Keith, you don't even know this, man. You are part of the brotherhood of the Dallas Cowboys. And when we talked last, yeah. I'm sitting here in a hoodie right now, and I'm telling you, I do. I love hard. I do not want Dak to get a penny. It's over. And everybody on that defense getting down 27 to nothing. I want 4 and 12 in changes. Tell me, that's how hurt I am. 27 to nothing. And it was mainly the defense. I don't care if they don't do anything to Jones family Keith I'm done go for and whatever but mm. don't give Dak a damn cent tell me I'm wrong no you're not wrong you're not wrong Talk to on me. paper on, on paper somebody's going to tell you you're wrong because Dak just had his best year Ugh. but I don't care about 12 and 5 <laughs> I don't care about <laughs> regular season wins none of us do as Dallas fans Ugh. that's cute on Sundays for September October November December Ugh. we know what's going to happen in January and we've had enough of it Talk Jerry to Jones me. I've honestly had enough of Jerry Jones Jerry Jones got to log off he's got to say less right now this is one of the worst off seasons you could imagine after being one and done at home after you were what 16 and 0 oh. at home you lose to the youngest team in playoff oh. history a quarterback that had never even kind of seen the playoffs like it's it's embarrassing oh. and no you don't pay Dak because Dak has shown you that he's going to fail let him be Kirk Cousins it's right over. Kirk Cousins hasn't won anything and he just got the bag again from the Falcons and he's recovering from an Achilles injury like Aaron Rodgers so let him test free agency let the Cowboys crash and burn there's no use in going 12 and 5 again which I don't think they will but crash and burn and and figure it out next year and rebuild this thing there go in a different go. direction it sucks because you have a Micah Parsons. It sucks because you have a C.D. Lamb and some of these other pieces that are really good, 
But uh, it's it's time for a change. It, it did not work out. Mike McCarthy's gone too. Wow! I'm calling into the show tonight. <laughs> oh, yes. to talk Cowboys. <laughs> yes, uh, I might call him personally to do that. All right, you guys, you guys want to? You guys can continue with the conversation I'm, 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 on I'm Dallas hurt, if no. you want. <laughs> no, no I, I got it all out, Keith. Hey, appreciate yeah. it, Keith. Thank Thanks, you so man. much for joining us as always, man. And uh, have a good show tonight. Of course. Thanks for having me, guys. Have a good one.